Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to the video for 7.2 Acid Base Titration. This video we will be discussing past your questions on your notes on page 21. But then for this one we're gonna discuss for P SPM 2019, 2020. Okay, so let's look here. In a weak acid strong base titration, 25 ml of KOH, our potassium hydroxide solution is titrated with 21.45 ml of 0 0.1 molar HCN to reach the equivalence point. Okay, uh, and then question number one, write a balanced chemical equation for the titration. Again, first what I would like to draw is actually I'm going to draw my conical flask with my acid and base solution. Okay, so this is the information that we have lah. Okay, and then the question asks to write the balanced chemical equation. So let us write down. Make sure since this is our acid, this is our base. Okay, so usually uh, for the titration question, it's quite simple. If we have H, it will be acid. If we have OH, that solution will be our base. Okay, so when I'm um, writing the equation itself, it regardless uh whether you want to write down the base first it's fine or you want to write down the acid first but then make sure when you write down the equation you must have the state whether it's solid liquid gas or aqueous okay again liquid is specifically only for h2o aqueous is on, uh, for any of our solution ionic solution okay so i'm just gonna write down the hcn and koh okay so when we um, react our acid and base we will form salt and water itself okay so water where do we get the water the H from our acids itself OH from our base so if you want to write down H2O here or you want to write down H2O on this side one it's fine anyway any other way is fine lah okay so what we have left so this we have K plus OH minus. So what we have is our K. And then here is actually H plus CN minus. H plus already gone into the H2O. But we have left with CN. So we become KCN aqueous. So that's the first question where they ask you to write down the equation itself. Okay, number two. Question asks to calculate the concentration of KOH solution at equivalence point. Okay, again, concentration is actually our mole divided by volume, which must be in liter. Okay. But then the question asks, um, here, okay, the tricky part is actually at equivalence point. So what is actually equivalence point? Okay, if we go back to the first page of 7.2, um, here, equivalence point is the point at which the amount of acid and base exactly neutralize one another. Uh, neutralize. Okay. So, equivalent point ni. Maksudnya, kita punya acid dengan base dah neutralize each other lah. Okay. So, kalau dah di neutralize, dah neutral. So, what happened to the concentration dia? Okay. So, sebenarnya question number 2 ni. Ha, dia sengaja nak trick kamu sikit. So, I'm just going to write down. Okay, at equivalence point, I'll make sure you write down all this information here. Okay, at equivalent point, kan, sebab here at equivalent point, kita bagi lah sebenarnya, base has been neutralized by our acid. Okay, neutralized. So, bila dia neutralized, so maknanya, semua dah react. All of it has reacted to form our water itself lah. Water and our acid, uh, water and our salt. Okay, base, a base has been neutralized by our acid. So, what happened is actually, so, dia tak ada lah sebab dia dah completely react. Kan? So, maknanya at the end dia jadi kosong. Ha, dia tak ada dah concentration dia. So, the concentration will be the concentration of KOH is zero. Zero apa? Zero molar. Okay? So, that's the question. Oh, yang ni tricky dia sikit. It's actually at equivalent point. Equivalent point is actually base has been neutralized by your acid. Uh, all memang dah, memang semua dah reacted to form our product. Then, dia ada lagi lah. There's no left. Lagipun, we don't have any concentration lagi kan. So, we can't find it out. Okay. Number three. Explain 
why potassium cyanide is not a neutral salt using appropriate equation. Again, this one will be about our salt hydrolysis. Uh, salt hydrolysis. Where first, misal, uh, the PSPM 2020-21. Okay, first kita kena tengok. If the question regarding salt, first we have to dissociate the salt into its respective ion lah. Okay, and then uh, one of the ions can be reacted with water. Okay, so let us look for KCN. Okay, for the KCN, what will be the equation? Okay, so KCN, question number 3. 3. KCN equals, make sure KCN equals will be dissociated. Okay, so kalau K, dia adalah K plus equals plus with our so, CN ni, it's actually the total of everything lah. CN, CN minus equals. Okay. So, that's the first step. You have to write down the dissociation of our salt. Next, based on our ion ni, we're going to react it water. Again, K plus ni is actually um, a stable ion. The same case macam sodium kita ni lah. And A plus. Sebab dia pun, we only have um, apa ni? This may 2.8.8.1. Sini lah kalau kita write down uh, the electronic configuration in terms of uh, the dot symbol. Uh, not the dot symbol, the one that you have learned during your SPM. Kalau plus pula, dia jadi 2.8.8. Okay. You already achieved octet, so it is stable, so it will not yet. Okay. So no reaction lah. You don't have to explain it in terms, you have to write down, no need. Okay, but then you're gonna show or gonna explain about our CN minus reacted with H2O. Okay, again, CN minus equals we're gonna react it with H2O liquid. Okay, H2O liquid. So it's actually in equilibrium. Okay. Okay, why is it in equilibrium? Because our CN minus ni, okay, it's actually from HCN. HCN ni is actually our weak acid. Okay, weak acid, so they in equilibrium lah. Okay, so CN minus, okay, CN minus ni is actually, I want to write down. Kalau negative charge ni is our base, so it will be H2O ni jadi acid. Base ni accept H plus. You don't need H plus. Okay. So what happened to the CN? It will take the H2O. It will take H from the H2O. It will become HCN equals. So H2O, what is left is OH minus equals. Okay. Then. So dia bagi tahu sini. Uh, the question, explain why. KCN is not a neutral salt using appropriate equation. Okay, so from the equation itself, we can see that there's the presence of OH minus. OH minus means that it is not a neutral one lah. It's a basic salt. Okay, so I'm just going to write down in a sentence. So, kita bagi tahu lah. The OH minus, okay, shows that, kita bagi tahu lah, shows that um, the salt, is basic yeah basic with ph more than seven okay again why more than seven because if it is acidic ph less than seven if it's a basic ph more than seven okay so that's the question okay so, again, uh, as we can see, both of the question, uh, both here, uh, go, um, apa ni, question, acid base saturation ada keluar. Uh, dia suka juga tentang kita punya um, salt hydrolysis. Okay, salt hydrolysis ni, kenapa dia masuk dalam acid base titration? Because when you try treat the acid and base, going to form salt. Okay, next is question number four. Suggest a suitable indicator for the titration. Okay, usually kita akan guna um, in the, uh, during our experiment itself, experiment 2, experiment 3, kita banyak guna indicator kita is the same one, phenophthalene. Um, lab test kita pun, kita guna phenophthalene. 
Lepas tu itu je lah jawapan dia Cuma how to um, uh, Spell the phenolphthalein uh, You can refer to the Next The question here lah ha, Kalau dalam exam Kalau kamu salah uh, AJ tak dapat lah jawapan uh, So the phenol Lepas tu phenolphthalein tu <laughs> P-H-T-H P-H-T-H-A-L-E-I-N Okay phenolphthalein ha, Saya nak sebut senang Tapi nak tulis dia tu macam Hmm, yeah, for no fatalin, okay? So, that is actually the question for um, acid-based saturation for PSPM 2019-20.